How to make contacts with your spirit guides. 5 steps. Would you like to learn how to speak with your spirit guides? Maybe to gain clarity on a situation you're facing or your soul's purpose? Many people believe that in order to do this, they must visit a psychic. They must be clairvoyant or possess unique intuitive skills. But what if I told you that none of that is necessary? That you can independently speak with a spirit guide in the privacy of your own home? What are spirit guides? A spirit guide is a non-physical being assigned to help you on your earth journey, achieve your soul mission and protect you and guide you through all your earth life. If we learn to pay attention, they may help us with anything from the most elementary decisions to life's most tough issues. If we want to follow the route that is best for us, it is crucial to pay attention to the signals and messages that our spirit guides give us. If you haven't been paying attention, your spirit guides may be attempting to reach out to you right now. To learn the warning indications that your guides are attempting to reach you, watch this video. Because of how little we know as immortal beings on earth, even when we think we do, we don't always know what is best for ourselves. Do you know why the terms let go, surrender, or trust the universe keep up in spiritual contexts? Because the universe is more intelligent than you are, and the more you fight it, the more unhappy your life gets. Your spirit guides watch out for you and make sure you follow the universal will. You will always be safeguarded as long as you pay attention. How many spirit guides do we have? The number of spirit guides you have will depend on your soul mission and how big it is. So let's say that you have a soul mission to help save the world, like in the case of starseeds, for example. You're going to need loads of spirit guides. Starseeds are the galactic volunteers who are reincarnated on Earth to assist humanity through the 5D ascension journey. However, if your goal is only to have a taste of life on Earth after previously inhabiting other worlds, you might not choose a very challenging task. The majority of spirits like this simply wish to explore the Earth initially. It's also possible that this is your first time ever being a human. Perhaps you were a dog in a previous existence, and this is your first chance to experience what it's like to be a human. Your goal is to simply understand how it functions while picking up knowledge in the process. You might then have a single spirit guide. Do we have the same spirit guides throughout our lives? We have one spirit guide who is assigned to us and they are with us throughout our lives. So from the womb until we die. Starseeds also have ascended masters and galactic races helping. It also depends on where we are on our soul mission. Let's dive into how to contact a spirit guide. 1. Light a candle. The first step is to light a candle. This can be any type of candle. The first person to advise someone not to play with fire was most likely not a mother, but a shaman who was well aware of the fire element's beauty and wrath. Fire plays an important part in Hindu practices. Fire is used in several rituals and is a symbol and a connection to their gods. It is both the creator and destroyer of life and the Hindus recognize this fact through several of their rituals and practices. For them, fire is one of five sacred elements of which all living creatures are comprised and is considered an eternal witness essential. In the spiritual sense, fire represents creation, resurrection, purification, eternity, and even death. It is both our inner light and a live representation of the divine fire that burns within each soul. This means that, like other elements, fire has a physical and spiritual form. Tea is an energy source that must be used with caution and control or you may be scorched. It is not very clear how, but fire helps us connect to the spiritual realm. It cleanses and clears the channels between earth and the higher realms. That being said, Lighting a candle is an important step on how to contact a spirit guide and making sure that the connections we get are clear. 2. Set an intention. Step number 2 is to set an intention, for example, that you will be a clear channel and receive a clear message from your spirit guides. Setting an objective before trying to do anything will help you construct a roadmap, making it more successful. This is especially important in practicing how to contact a spirit guide. With the appropriate intentions driving you, you will most likely get more out of your channeling. 3. Still your thoughts. Th most powerful way I know is through meditation. Meditation helps us go to that place where time and space don't exist. It helps take us out of the material world. Meditation is a gateway to another realm, which is one of its many wonderful powers. People even use meditation to activate the pineal gland, also called the third eye chakra, when you enter a deep meditative state your consciousness separates itself from your thoughts. Your identification with emotion, memory, time, and body gradually fades. The ego self and everything you identify with fades and all that is left is the real you. You go into the state of being. In this state, your soul is in a different dimension. 
In this dimension, you will also find your spirit guides. So take a few deep breaths and do some meditation in whatever style you prefer. Whether that is by feeling your breath or doing some mantra, anything that will still your mind. 4. Ask a question. Step number 4 is to ask a question to your spirit guide. Here are some questions you can ask yourself. What is my soul mission? What will happen to me this year? What challenges will I go through? How can I solve this challenge that I'm going through? Anything under the sun. Absolutely anything that you need help with. Our spirit guides are always guiding us but asking them the right questions helps us work in harmony with them. It's not only on things you're unsure of that you could ask about. You could also ask for guidance or which path you're supposed to take. 5. Have a notepad ready. Step number 5 is to have a notepad ready, so have it on the bedside next to your candle. After you've asked a question, bring out your pen and then just write down whatever comes to mind, whatever pops into your mind. This is called automatic writing or stream of consciousness writing as some people call it. Don't think about it because the messages will not come from your rational mind but from a higher state of consciousness. So this is a form of channeling, actually. When you do this, be aware. What do you feel? It's common to feel a touch or a presence around the head or the neck. You may also get a feeling of happiness or like there's some energy there in the room with you. So just pay attention to that, relax, and be consistent. Do this a few times until it becomes easier and more habitual. The first time you try it, it can feel a bit weird. You might even feel like you're a crazy person. But eventually, those limiting beliefs get released and it becomes easier and easier. The messages that you get will also become clearer and clearer.